it is a film that depicts Salma, but it, it actually doesn't as well, because it's actually more of a film that depicts us. And that's what I wanted to do, to turn the camera uh, on, on ourselves. We talk about in anthropology the bias of the noble savage, which is basically that the classical bias of the savage is really everyone else is worse than we are. Mm -hmm. But the bias of the noble savage is that, oh, look at those people in that country. They sold everything and mm -hmm. they're so good. And you know, the pipe smoking Indians in Hollywood movies like that talk about that we can't eat money. That kind of eat, love, pray kind of radicalism, mm -hmm. which I absolutely can't stand. And the interesting thing that we actually knew about this going into Sama, but we did have, we were affected by this kind of, oh, there, everything is so perfect. And of course it's not, because I mean, no society is perfect then, because people are not perfect. So of course they are greedy, and they are they are lazy, and they are mean to each other, sometimes they are everything that we are as well, of course, because they're not better nor worse as people. But still, there's their, the structure of their culture limits their greed in a way that means that it doesn't end up with people dying from hunger or people begging in the streets. Mm -hmm. So that was what interested me. And why, why can't we do that? Mm -hmm. Like, why are we so attached to our possessions? So why do, what do they represent our possessions? Mm -hmm.